Hello traders, this is Matt from Optimus Futures. I'm going to focus a bunch of videos here, some series of videos on the execution on the depth of market by Malta charts or otherwise known as a dome. I think this dome was uh, written, there are two, I should say that there's two reasons that I like this dome. The first reason that I like this dome is because I like visually appealing designs which are really easy on the eyes and they're really kept with the trader in mind that stares at the screen all day and i can say that about the multi-charts platform in general however i think their dome and this is where most day traders probably execute on or um, should pay attention to is also very pleasing visually uh, very easy on the eyes and definitely uh, will make it much easier throughout the day so this is the dome and this is um, in its compact mode without any of the features. Um, you can place limit orders. This is where the price is at right now in yellow and you can price buy stops over here. Sorry, buy limits, I apologize, it's below the market. So buy limits over here. So you just click on that and it says yes. And you just- Order submitted. Right over here and you have a voice alert and then you can move this up order submitted and you would also see it on the chart as well and you can cancel either on the chart or cancel here but since we're focusing on the dome we're going to see it right over here okay we're going to cancel. order canceled on this side you will see all the sell stops on the red because it's on the sell side and it's below the market so you click over here and would you like to place it orders? This is a sell stop. Order pending. Right over here. Order canceled. This, obviously above the price, this will be buy stops. Those will be sell limits. Now let's progress and uh, show you how strategies could be applied on the dome itself. Now, again, if you just need to place orders point and click and you don't need anything fancy use it in this mode if you need it to get a little bit more advanced you can switch right over here to the full mode by the way one of the things that i do like about the dome is that when you hover over things it tells you exactly what it does so for example right over here switch to compact mode and now switch to full mode the dome will be over here. This will be the X button for all the buy orders. This will be the X button for all the sell orders. You have a cancel all for all orders, close the positions, or just reverse the positions. Underneath here, you will see the quantity, the date, the day you wanna place the orders, and then whether you want a day order GTC, go till date. Um, you can put here and then you can specify the date and then you can do fill or kill underneath here there are two tabs the first one is we're gonna call the place orders which is the initial order entry underneath here this is the exit strategy let's go over the place orders first So right over here, this is a simple stop order. And again, if you hover over it, it would show you what it does. And right here, you can apply the strategy. So for example, this defaults to, you can apply the strategy and this is a, a buy stop. So this is what it does. Okay, it defaults to the current price and it tells you if you wanna buy it on the stop. The same here would be here, would be a limit order. You can apply strategy, you can buy it on a limit. This would be buy stop with limit, right over here. Okay, fairly easy. Now here on the other hand, if you right click, it will also give you a chance to edit the strategy. So let, let's click edit. By the way, let's read what it is first, right? So this is, it's called breakout strategy places OCO order. 
a buy stop order above the market price and the sell stop orders below the market price. So basically this is all the executions here were um, written with the um, trader in mind. Um, I feel that the people that who wrote this uh, software really understood how professional traders think and they've built it as such. And this is not something that I can say, unfortunately, about all softwares. So let's click on the strategy here and we'll click edit. And the default would be 10 ticks. And again, this is where the market is kind of a sideways pattern. And you think, okay, if the order, sorry, if the market goes above a certain price here, it will, it will break out of it. It probably would continue higher. However, if it breaks on a certain level here, it would probably go down. And as you see, it's 10 ticks off the price and you can play with it. If you think the market should go higher here to break out and leave this at 10 and you change it accordingly. Again, so you're a trader and you think that the market has to break up on one side to go up and break down on the other side to do that, okay? And let's say, and you can even save it. Okay, you can save this to be 20 and 10. And next time you want to apply the strategy, it would open this 20 and 10. And you can further go ahead and even save it as a template. If you do so, you can call it whatever you want. You can have four breakout strategies here and um, each one of them could have a different parameters. They would all have the same orders, buy stop and a sell stop. However, each one of them could have a, a separate number of ticks. Okay. And if you, and, and then you can just, if you apply the strategy right over here, okay. I'm gonna put here just a little bit far away from the markets. So maybe you could see it. And I'm going to place the strategy. Order pending. And now I have the order working right over here. You see it on the charts, but right over here as well. So this order was placed with 20 ticks. And I'm going to cancel all. Order canceled. And there's nothing there. Okay. Underneath here, there's a, a little button here on the place order. You go down here and there's three more buttons right over here. Right here, you have a fade strategy, which places OCO orders. Okay, and this is, and this is fade. And what does it mean? Sell limit order above the market price and the buy limit below the market price. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so this is a sell limit and this is a buy limit. So if the market, for example, is in a range, you wanna sell it at a certain top and buy it at a certain bottom. Okay, this is the order that you wanna place and you, here you have, um, the quantity and again time and force which is the duration of the order and you should take your time and really read this thing and play with it because then you can apply different strategies to different market conditions this is really the beauty of this dome here you have a breakup and a fade strategy and again it's very simple you place an OCO order you have a buy stop above the market and a buy limit below. So you think your bias as a trader is on the upside. Okay. And you think it's like this. So if the market breaks, let's say, again, you can change the default here, but just for the sake of the example, you, you, you say, okay, if the market breaks 2350, it will go up. On the other hand, I think the um, floor would be at 2345 and you place both orders at the same time. You can save here the, whatever template you want, as I showed before, or just go here and apply the strategy and then place 
the orders. This is a breakdown fate strategy. So this is where your bias is on the downside of the market. And this is where you would sell at a certain price because you think the market is being kept. Um, the market will not go above this level. And at the same time, if you think the market is going to break at a certain level below, it will go down. So this is a bias on the downside. And again, save the strategy. And then if you need to do it, you just apply it. Okay. And this is your place order. In the next video, I'm going to focus on these were initial orders. On the next video, I'm going to focus on the exit um, strategy of the dome.